Howdy, I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to find a p-value given the test statistic. Here's our problem statement. Use technology to find the p-value for the hypothesis test described below. The claim is that for a smartphone carrier's data speeds at airports, the mean is mu equals 18.00 megabytes per second. The sample size is n equals 29, and the test statistic is t equals 2.074. Okay, finding the p-value here is really easy if you understand one simple concept, and that is that the p-value is the area in the tail of the distribution bounded by the test statistic. And that's why the test statistic is given here, because it provides the boundary for that area in our distribution. But which distribution are we going to be using? Well, look at your test statistic. Your test statistic is a t-score. That means you're going to be using the student t distribution. So I'm going to call up StatCrunch here. And inside StatCrunch, I'm going to go to Stat, Calculators, T, because I want the student t distribution. Now here's my student t calculator. Degrees of freedom is one less than the sample size, and that's why they give us the sample size here. In this case, it's 29, so our degrees of freedom will be one less than that, which is 28. And then we need to get this inequality sign here, right? And that's got to match our alternative hypothesis. Well, to get the alternative hypothesis, we have to look at the claim. The claim here is that the mean value equals 18. Well, equality by definition, belongs with the null hypothesis. So we can't adopt the claim as the alternative hypothesis, which means we have to take the complement of this. The complement of being equal to is being not equal to, and not equal to means we're going to have a two-tailed test. So I'm going to come up here in my distribution calculator and select the between option, because my p-value is actually split between the left and right tail of my distribution. So now I've got two test statistics. One is going to be positive, the other is going to be negative. So I'm going to put those values in here. And now I've got everything that I need. I go ahead and get compute. And out comes the area in between the tails. Remember that in StatCrunch, this between option is calculating the area in between the tails. But the p-value is the area of the tails. So I have to take the complement of this area that's between the tails to get the area of the tails. So I call up my little calculator here, take one minus this value here, and there is my p-value. Masked around to three decimal places. Good job! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.